Raven the Miner here yet again, and today we're going to be working on something pretty cool. Um, it will be myself, it looks like myself, PC Wizard 67 and Fueled by Fury are going to be working on a, a new spawn site, because uh, the one I created when I started the server was small, you know, very understated, which was fine, um, but we needed something more. It, a lot of people started building right around it, and that's not a bad thing, but it'd be nice to have a nice, fresh place for everyone that, uh, oh my, oh my. <laughs> I saved you, Wiz. I saved you. Um, but anyway, a nice, fresh place for everyone to start out uh, with some basic resources, and additionally, it'd be nice to have a, a main portal with a, a main central hub in the nether. I mean, we have a small one. We have a couple small hubs right now. But it'd be nice to have uh, a main one, as PC Wizard said, a, uh, a grand central, if you will. So that's kind of uh, what we're working towards. Now, we scouted out a huge area, and not too far from spawn, we found this nice extreme hills biome, as you see here. And so we decided that this, where we're standing right now, is going to be the perfect spot for it. And it looks like the idea we're going with is like a a large Greek ruin temple type idea. Um, we kind of marked out, this is going to be the front on this side, the entrance on this side, because the sun ri rises here. So it would be pretty cool. Nice little look. Um, which, of course, puts the rear on this side. And I just put a... A small tree farm over here to help with resources. Wiz ran all the way home to get some obsidian, make a little portal here so we can easily get back and forth between our homes and make runs for supplies. Um, in the meantime, Fueled by Fury set up this nice small melon farm here, started cooking some pork. There's a bunch of pigs around here. And, uh, and yeah, we leveled off the top of this a little bit. So I'm going to keep jumping in and out of this recording and kind of keep you guys posted on what's going on and yeah as always any tips or advice or any input you guys have is always greatly appreciated so i'll see you in a few all right guys well i thought i had this whole recording thing figured out apparently i am a scrub so let it be known i am a recording scrub um I thought I was recording at a bunch of different times, but apparently at some point I double tapped the hotkey or something like that. I was recording when I didn't think I was, and I wasn't recording when I thought I was. So that's where it leaves us. This is everything we have done so far. Um, let's do a little recap. Um, we built these stairs going up. Obviously, we laid the platform out here. I don't know what's going on here, honestly. I don't know yet. I'll have to ask Wiz. Um, got this down here, uh, just a little room, not sure what we're going to do with this yet, but we wanted the, uh, the whole thing to be kind of raised up a little bit. We wanted it to really pop on top of the mountain. So, so we did all this, we were messing around with, uh, different types of pillars and styles. We kind of voted on a style of pillar we like, we had room for three of them. And then we decided, well, I was that guy. And I was like, you know, this would look way better if it was bigger. And yeah, so <laughs> we then agreed to widen the entire thing, and that way we can have four pillars on top, and I think that's the plan. So yeah, sorry that now you have to miss out on all the little uh, <laughs> planning adventures we went through, but this is where we are now, and I will keep you posted. All right, so I'm actually just getting back. Um, I went down to some caves. I wanted to get some more stone, uh, some more cobble, and some coal to cook it up. We need a lot more smooth stone, it looks like. Um, oh my. Don't. But it was a pretty cool opportunity to see kind of what we've got going on so far. I think it looks awesome. Oh. 
Blow each other up. Do it. No! Anyway. Uh, wow, it looks like I have to fight my way back there. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. You get out of here. I'm going to go show you guys what we got going on, but uh, these guys apparently don't want that to happen. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. I don't even remember how to get over there. <laughs> Not this way! <laughs> hey, freaks. Oh, man. Hey, pig. Come with me. Oh! Just run. Oh! There they go! <laughs> uh, this place is just riddled with mobs. I have no idea how to get up there. Come on. See, this is the area I was talking about earlier. This here, I'm going to make all this curve down and look real nice. I mean, right now it looks stupid. Just an overhanging ledge like that. Um, but let's see, let's see. Oh, Amoda97 decided to come and check out what's going on, too. So, let's get up here. Yay, I made it! I made it! Alright, so this will apparently be the wheat farm. They're working on that now. And this is what we got going on. Um, not nearly as impressive at night. It looks kind of cool, the moon there. But during the day, you know, it looks really nice. When the sun is setting, it's setting back there. And, of course, it rises over here, like we talked about earlier. Yeah, it looks like they move the wheat farm. That's cool. I like the looks of this. Hmm. But yeah, these are the pillars we went with. Um, we went through a lot of different styles and variations, but we decided uh, the stair bottom looked pretty nice with smooth stone here. And, uh, you know, we're talking about the roof and everything like that, and it looks like we're going to start drawing some inspiration from the Parthenon, the Greek Parthenon. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Again, it's a, it's a full house now. We've got all hands on deck working on this thing. And I'll keep you posted in a little bit. Well, if it isn't an, another excellent recording opportunity. Um, <laughs> so, we're getting all this set up. I mean, it's starting to really come together and look nice, right? I'm, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it so far. And we, we discussed, and the plan is we're going to do another row of pillars back here. Which is nice, because it would fit right here. And it would leave an odd number here. It was five. Um, and the plan is to do the nether portal in the very middle. Which would put it right here. So it fits perfectly this way. Front to back. Well, this one right here. Fits perfectly. Dead center. The problem is, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the nether portal. But... There's a little problem. Wiz was actually the first to notice. Um, yeah, that's not right. So, <laughs> uh, so we're taking this whole thing. I mean, the thing is, we, if we're if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. That's what I said earlier. We're taking this whole thing, and now we have to move it. Well, we have to expand it by three blocks. And the reason we're doing that is so we can move each one of the, these pillars over one so we have an even number of space in between them, and we should be good. So yeah, all of this, getting torn down, and getting moved. Alright, I'll catch up with you guys later. Welcome back, and here's another view of the build so far. Um, I think it's quite, I mean, it's really coming together now. Um, I really, really like the way it's going to look sitting on top of this hill like this. I think that's what I'm most intrigued about, what I'm most excited about seeing. So, yeah, I mean, it's coming along quite nicely. <laughs> Moving everything over is definitely a pain, but what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> at least uh, it'll be right when it's done, you know. We won't have to uh, know deep in our hearts that this was all done in vain. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited for that. And let's see. Here we go. Nice. So, Wiz is down there. He's working on actually placing the portal. And he did a little uh, raised platform for it, which I think it looks really nice. Uh, it definitely makes it pop a bit more. And uh, <laughs> Fury is furiously moving them all over. That's annoying. There we go. Um, and look at that sunset. 
Man, this is looking nice. Alright, so I still need to do one more over here. I think I'll start working on that one now. Um, but I want to talk about, it looks like, now I've been working on this all morning, but it looks like the uh, new snapshot is out. 12W38. A, I think I think it's 38. Um, I'll have to double check that. But um, oh, for future reference, uh, if you're watching this video in the distant future, we are now in Minecraft 1.3.2. That's what the server's running on. Um, yeah, the snapshot 12w38a. I'm pretty quite positive just came out, and uh, I'm really intrigued about some of the stuff that came out in it. Uh, I'm also not too keen on some of the stuff, and uh, I think it's worth talking about. Um, wow, this rain is annoying. Okay. But, um, one of the big things, one of the features of this update, I'd say, is they've added witches and bats. Pretty cool. Um. <laughs> Fury. So when you decide to move the spawn, did you ever imagine it would look like this? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> oh, invaded by pigmen already. Great. Fantastic. Um, anyway, I'm out of smooth stone. Wow, this is just a wreck, and I'm glitching. Yeah, so they added witches and bats. I'm getting completely off track here. I think the bats, I think, are really cool because it is Minecraft. It's about mining, and there's so much emphasis on caves and abandoned mine shafts and everything now. It's going to be a great addition there. I think it's going to be a really atmospheric addition. I think it's going to be really cool. Really looking forward to the, that in the actual release. Um... Which is, I don't know, a lot of it is me though, I associate witches strictly with Halloween time, and that's it. So, this being a Halloween update, I think it's cool, I don't know, we'll see how they interact with everything. I mean, now there's brewing and everything, I guess it makes sense, there's brewing, there's cauldrons, there's villagers, now there's witches. Ultimately, I guess I'm okay with it, it'll take some getting used to though. Yeah, you know, a big part of me views it kind of as cheesy and... I don't know. Too Halloween-esque. Man, this is looking good. This is looking real good. Uh, but another one of the big features of this update that I've seen so far is the addition of sounds, which I think is really incredible. Um, a lot of you guys know I started fooling around with TechIt uh, last week. Here, you got something for me? Yay! Thanks, bud. Um, started fooling around with Tekkit last week, and the Matt Moss mod is in Tekkit, and it just adds atmospheric noises and sounds, and just, I fell in love with it. My first reaction was, why isn't this part of Minecraft? <laughs> I absolutely love it. A lot of people, I was live streaming it, a lot of people were kind of annoyed by the sounds. They were like, oh, sh hit F7 to shut it off, and all this stuff. I refused. I loved it. I absolutely love it. Um, and I think... Maybe not that in its entirety, but different aspects of that should really be added to the game. This is a game that, for me at least, it's so easy to get lost in and just waste hours of mining, exploring, I mean the whole nine yards. To add atmospheric audio elements to it would just take it to a whole new level for me, and I think a lot of people are the same way. Um, one more here. So yeah. It looks like they're adding... Oh, man. I see it now. I don't have enough stairs on me either. I'm... Ah, today's not my day. It looks like they're modifying some sounds like placement of TNT. I haven't looked at the whole thing. I'll be completely honest. Uh, I'm talking up my butt a little bit right now. Um, change sounds like placement of TNT, placement of some torches. Uh, looks like they changed some mob sounds. I'm really interested to hear that. That could be cool. Uh... What else? What's that? Just lava pouring out the side. Yeah, I need some more stuff. Do I have any left? 13. Here you go. Whoop! Ooh, lightning. <laughs> Again, totally distracted. Uh, what was it saying? Additional sounds, additional noises. Um, anyway, it'd be really cool... Obviously, we're all begging and pleading for minecart noises. Hopefully that happens soon. Uh, I think Jeb actually sent out a tweet on it, so I'm sure he's on it. It'll happen. I'm content. Uh, but just 
atmospheric elements I'd like. Different, maybe different uh, audio tracks for different biomes, stuff like that. It'd just be really cool, really engrossing. That's what I really, what I'm really looking for here. But yeah, can't wait to uh, try out the new additions. Um, but as I've discussed before in previous videos, uh, this time, as opposed to earlier snapshots and releases, I'm not trying any of this out until 1.4 comes out. And the reason for this is mostly because of recording. Uh, I want to bring back the hardcore series for 1.4. I don't want to do that until all the bugs are worked out. So I'll be waiting for the full release there. Uh, and now running the server and everything like that, it's the server's got plugins, uh, administrative plugins that I I need to operate. You know, prevent griefing, all that, the whole nine yards. Uh, man, this is looking nice. So I won't be updating this until the plugins for 1.4 are updated. So I won't be doing uh, any 1.4 for quite a bit now. And it's kind of different. Missing. We're good. <laughs> Here we go. But it's going to be kind of cool to uh, experience everything for the first time. I mean, carrots and potatoes and... Hi! Did wizards come through the portal? <laughs> he is a wizard. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to call it quits for now. Hopefully this rain dies down. And, uh... Yeah, don't know where we're headed next with this. But, uh, I'm excited. Hope you... Hopefully you guys are too. Well guys, uh, I think we finally settled on a roof design. I like how every time I start recording, it's nighttime. I just realized that. But hey, uh, we settled on a roof design. I tried out a few different ones before I could get it to look quite right. Um, but this is it right here. I like it a lot. Um, I, now that I look at it from down here, I want to do something else here. Kind of break up that uh, solid block a little bit. But I think that roof looks pretty fantastic uh, this is gonna look stellar when it's complete can't wait to show you guys the finished product uh, can't wait to see the finished product myself but uh but yeah these guys these two right here fantastic individuals we we're able to make some magic happen today <laughs> all right so yeah we need to go extend that roof a little bit I need to get a bunch of more stone bricks slabs because this is going to take a lot of it. And then, uh, yeah. Then I'll show you again. Here we are again. And I just finished up the roof that I showed you guys last segment. Um, and I'm trying something out here. I actually lit the whole thing up with torches. Uh, because I'm curious to see what it's going to look like with the lighting glitches. And how it's going to affect you know, through the, through the half slabs here. Through the stairs underneath. I'm really curious to see. So... We're gonna we're gonna wait, we're gonna see this together. Oh, dude, that is cool. That is sick. All right, they've been working down there too. Nice. Okay, okay. Let's plug that up, and we're gonna head all the way down. We never need to go up there again. Look at that! Just that glow around the pillars. I like that. Oh, cool. Look at that. That torch is sick. And, oh, wow. One heck of a waterfall, too. Let's see. Oh, that looks mint. Totally rocking. All the way down. Oh, man. That is awesome! I never did fix my sound from earlier, did I? It's not raining for once! There we go. Okay. Oh man, look at this! Look at this! That, my friends, is a thing of beauty. Oh man, look at... Oh! I'm sorry. I'm just really happy. This is uh, well, this is how I spent my Thursday. <laughs> uh, what did you do today? Anyway, there's still some minor improvements I want to make. Um, like I said before, I want to break up the sides here, and I want to add some curvature to the bottom uh, of the overhang. And that's not going to work. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Give me your arrows. Cool. <laughs> All right. 
And now I think, I'm pretty sure they're actually going to build another torch right here, which will look epic. Two torches, a fountain in the middle. This is incredible. I am so happy. All right, so let's uh, let's start putting the finishing touches on this place, and then I'll kind of show you guys the finished product, all right? Thanks for sticking around so long. All right, so I'm trying to uh, to polish this sucker up, and I'm trying to roughen up that smooth edge that was sticking out. You know, make it look like a more of a natural overhang. I cannot figure this out. Uh, I think the Mighty McRaven has been stumped at last. That looks stupid. <laughs> uh, I just I can't figure out quite how to to make it look natural. See, like look at this over here. See these natural overhangs? I guess, like here we go, like this. That's what I want it to look like, right there. I can't figure out, you know what? I can do that. I gotta figure something out, right? I'm, I know a lot of you guys are probably really good at something like this, but anything that involves making something look random any sort of randomness that's the hardest thing for me by far the hardest thing for me um hold on let's look at this all right so i want it to first off so this leads me to a question for you guys what's the hardest thing you've ever tried to build in minecraft is it a uh a huge structure, a huge project? Is it something small that maybe you just had a really hard time with? Uh, I'm just curious, what's, what's the hardest thing you've ever built? And we are going to do something like this, I think. Maybe, maybe. Nah, no, I'm still not feeling it. Maybe like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Work it. Something like this. I'm completely winging this as I go. Um, let's see. Underneath here. I know this doesn't have to be like entirely filled in or whatever. Um, well, let's see the edge. How do that looks? <laughs> Fury. Well done. Oh man. Let's look at this again. Okay, look at that. And then look at that. Am I getting there? Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'm being way too critical of myself. I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut again here, and then I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I don't know. I have no clue. No clue. This is getting very frustrating. This should not be so hard. I just want to make it look natural. Uh, all right, I'm going to cut here and then like beat my head against the keyboard and see what comes out. All right. All right. Okay. So I got the one side done to a point where I'm good with it but now I need to do this side and honestly I already did this little part right here this is kicking my butt holy cow um, but it's a pretty good vantage point from over here to see what this uh, what this thing looks like So let's check it out nice I love that waterfall coming off the fountain it is awfully high it looks it looks better from further away I just want to show you guys uh, what I ended up wrangling up on the other side. Let's see. Oh, I need to do something here too. I guess we'll do that real quick. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. A little randomness. Uh, one more.
Oh, all this needs to get filled in too. That looks like garbage. There we go. That's better. A little staircase headed down. Pretty cool. Working on that. So I know PC Wiz was starting uh, to work on that. Let's see. See, there we go. It's not bad. It, um... I think it looks a lot better than it did. It actually looks like it's uh, part of the hill coming up and out. Maybe I need to take some of this off right here. Complete the angle. How might I do that? But uh, this is actually going to wrap up the episode for now, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, we're gonna, Of course, we're going to finish it up in here. Come on. All the way up. All the way up. Man, doing that on this side is going to be the death of me. So once again, please let me know in the comment section what is the most difficult thing you've ever tried to build. Now, you didn't have to finish it. No, not the most difficult thing you've built. The most difficult thing you've tried to build. Whether you've completed it or not, I want to hear it. So, man, look at it. That's incredible. Incredible. Snapshot. Cool. All right, so that's it for me, guys. Um, a special thanks to PC Wizard 67 and Fueled by Fury. It was an awesome time building with you guys. I know you guys can't hear me right now, but when you watch the video, thank you so much. It's been a blast building this with you guys. I think it looks incredible. It just goes to show, you know, the caliber of builders on this server. I think these guys are great. Um, and yeah, that's it for me. So this is McRaven the Miner signing out. <laughs>